Chicas is a Shorano gang located in Oxnard, California. The gang was formed in the 70s. The gang is is said to have over 1,000 members. Their territory stretches from Oxnard Boulevard in the west to Rice Avenue in the east and from Camino del Sol in the north to 5th Street in the south. The American rapper Down A.K. Aquilo is from Colonia. A brief history of the neighborhood. During the 1970s and 1980s, owners began renting their properties. Crime began skyrocketing as drugs, and then resulting gangs, created a mentality in the community against the police, who had historically never patrolled within the neighborhood and only entered on occasional emergency calls. Policemen that did enter the barrio in this time period did so in pairs and in vehicles often felted with rocks and bottles. The 1990s saw Oxnard police making a great effort to lower the crime rate and better their relationship with the community. However, the 1997 aggressive shooting of Oliverio Martinez by police and their later obstruction of emergency room procedures to interrogate him led to issues in the community. Nevertheless, after a 1993 police department storefront opened despite attempted arson, members of the community felt driven to return order to their neighborhood. Soon federal grants brought computer and job training programs, improvements to the parks, demolition of known locations of drug sales, and incentives to improve properties. Starting roughly after 2000, La Colonia began a renovation project to improve its image in respect to the city. New construction on once empty lots or ramshackle homes began in much of the southern areas. The housing boom spurred development and reinvestment. $59 million went into renovating 260 housing units at the Courts and Cesar Chavez School. The Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish plans to begin construction on a new church building within a year. The re-establishment of Ramona School was another example of this renovation. The elementary school established in 1940 was a keystone into the educational advancement that many residents of Colonia. Sadly the school fell into disrepair and was left unused by the mid-1990s. In 2000 the school district cleared the original school site and rebuilt a new school. A rededication of the school along with many invited alumni from years past occurred in August 2000. The 2004 gang injunction in the neighborhood. In June 2004, the Oxnard Police Department and the Ventura County Sheriff imposed a gang injunction in over a 6.6 square mile area of the city in order to restrict gang activity. Some political activists lobbied against the injunction arguing that it amounted to racial discrimination, that it unconstitutionally banned assembly and expression through wearing Dallas Cowboys affiliated clothing, and that it was being used as a tool for the slow gentrification of La Colonia. This includes speculation that the gang injunction was instituted simply to allow for the economic viability of the downtown area. Anti-injunction proponents cited the Oxnard Police Department in their argument that since 1992, crime had dropped to half of what it once was and that of the 39 homicides charged against the Cheeks since 1993 they had only actually committed four. Elements in the community fearing the injunction would increasingly marginalize the Hispanic youth of the city wrote letters into the local newspapers and tried to introduce an alternative plan to increase spending on gang prevention, pro-youth programs. The city council refused to contemplate such programs. However, other residents, long upset over criminal gang activity in their neighborhoods, supported the gang injunction. The injunction proved to be an effective tool against Oxnard's biggest and most dangerous gangs as the number of murders in the area fell from 22 in 2003 to 18 in 2004. It survived a court challenge to be upheld in the Ventura County Superior Court. The law was made permanent in 2005 and was soon implemented on another section of the city. Continued efforts by members of a local branch of LULAC and the Grassroots Movement Committee on Raza Rights included more editorial letters in local newspapers and public discussions held over the efficacy of the injunction and the real aims of the city council.